Impossible. Just gonna die in the end. <laughs> F*** off, train. So this past Halloween, we had a little get-together at the house. Two of the young women who provide care for my disabled daughter in our home, uh, they're, they've become way more than staffed us. They're like family. So they each have a toddler. So we invited them all over, you know, to have a little candy together with the kids and see the costumes and everything. My wife and I are big nerds for that stuff. And, and so the one little guy, his name is Brandon. He's running around the house and, and we had given them goodie bags. And in those goodie bags were some of those ring pops. Ring pops are delicious, obviously. And Brandon was enjoying his. He was like, <laughs> he's got it on and he's going to town on that ring pop. It's all over his face, just as it should be and everything, you know, enjoying it the way a kid should. And at one point, Brandon dropped the ring pop. Now we dropped it, he was standing right on some uh, a carpet in our house. And you guys have to remember, we have three dogs. So it doesn't matter how often you vacuum or anything like that, there's always dog hair somewhere on the carpet and, and who knows which one of those gross little bastards might have been dragging their ass across something or anything. In other words, you don't, the five second rule doesn't even apply. It's it's just like it's instant. It's like, no, that's, <laughs> that's a not gonna happen. That doesn't go back in your mouth without being washed. So Brandon drops the, the ring pop, but little guy's fast. He, he scoops it up and he goes to put it right back in his mouth. And I was like, no. And, I, and it was like everything was moving in slow motion. But I actually went really quick for an old fart. And I and I snatched it away from him. And I'm like, no, 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 Brandon. He can't eat that. It's dirty. And I, I was feeling all good about myself because I just saved that kid from who knows what type of trauma once that thing had gone into his mouth. But then as I'm standing there feeling good about my heroic act, I realized to a one and a half year old, he doesn't know anything about dog hair on the floor or anything. To him, I just stole his lollipop. And so I, I look down at Brandon, and he's looking right back up at me. And his expression, his expression said it all. And basically what his expression said was, You dick! And I was like, No, 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 you don't understand. And then he started to cry. And I was like, no, dude, no, no, I, I wasn't stealing your candy. It was, it was dirty. And, and I'm trying to explain it. And like, he's having nothing to do with it. And his mom, Carly, she comes over and she's comforting him. She's like, no, 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 we're going to wash it off. It'll be okay. My wife takes the lollipop. She's cleaning it. Now, as she's cleaning it all off for him and everything, he's crying, but he's still, he's like casting glances at me. And I, I was getting, I'm getting nervous. So my wife brings the lollipop back in. I'm like, here, let me give it to him. I'm like, here, buddy, it's okay. See, see, I gave it back to you. It's all good. Brandon was having none of it. I mean, to him, first impressions are everything. So to him, for the rest of his life, I am just this giant, creepy old guy who steals your shit. And from that moment on, for the rest of the night, things were awkward between Brandon and me. He was he was like, give me sideways glances. And at one point, I, I, I walked close to him, and I swear he went like this. He went like that. And I'd like to say, you know, I, I I was a man about it. I just walked by and I just went, oh, isn't that cute? But I didn't. He went like that and I went, ugh. Because I, I, I didn't, I didn't want to get punched. So here we are. I, I think we're having a nice little party. And I've been marked for the rest of my life as as a lollipop stealer. There's, there's no question that someday Brandon's going to get even. You know, I, I'm, I'm going to be like in my 70s. And this teenager is just going to come up to me randomly as I'm eating my my hamburger or something. And he's going to snatch it out of my hand and go, there, how do you like it, you old fart? And then he's going to smack me in the head. Can't say I won't have deserved it. I feel like I feel like now I should be entering like a self-help program or 12-step program where I get up in front of everybody and I go, hello, my name is Curtis and I steal candy from babies. <laughs>